Hi, in this video, we will build a basic iOS 18 calculator using Kesa, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, and Swift UI. What you see here is a fully functioning iOS calculator consisting of five basic operators division, multiplication, subtraction, addition, and equal sign. So we can perform some arithmetic operations. We can reset the calculator and tap and hold the menu icon to show more options. These do not have any functionality. Our intention in this project is to have a fully functioning calculator for iOS. So what I did in this project was, I took a screenshot of the basic iOS 18 calculator and uploaded it into Kesa and used Cloud 3.5 Sonnet to generate the Swift UI code for the basic calculator. You can see here with the original calculator, we have circular buttons. But in the example I just showed, we have rectangular buttons. So this is the original generated code. I haven't done anything with it. But once you generate the code this way, you can go through the UI and modify it to look similar to the original basic iOS 18 calculator. So to get started, you should make sure you have Kesa installed by visiting their website and downloading it here for free. Once you launch Kesa, and make sure you have the Swift extension installed. So that is the first one you see here. That will help you to edit your Swift code and get syntax highlighting. So in the files explorer, I have added this file, basiccalculator.swift. So what I did was, I pressed command K to bring the Kesa composer. Then I uploaded the screenshot to the Kesa composer and also added a simple prompt to create the iOS calculator using Swift UI and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet as you see here. I have a paid version of Kesa. However, you can get this done with the free version as well because Cloud 3.5 Sonnet is available in the free version of Kesa. If you do not want to use the Kesa composer with command K, you can use the companion AI chat functionality. You can see over here the current file is basic iOS calculator.swift. So we can upload the screenshot in the chat panel and add a prompt over here to generate the Swift UI calculator using Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. Since I have the code already generated with the composer, I will close the AI chat. First, I give a prompt to create a calculator using the screenshot as a reference. With that, it generated only the UI, which consists of a text field for displaying the result and the various buttons. Since I wanted a functional calculator, I added a second prompt. That is this one. I wanted to make each of the operators functional, as well as the numbers on the buttons. So over here, I stated I want a fully functioning calculator. I also added the initial UI it generated in basic iOS calculator.swift as reference. So you can see over here, the model responded, stating the updated version has the following additions. So it modified the code and added all these state variables. If I go back to the code, you can see them over here. I don't know why it added this state variable is rotating because this wasn't used anywhere. But the remaining ones are for the calculator functions. Next, it created an enum for all the calculator operators. Then we have the original UI consisting of the text field that displays the calculator results. One great thing about Kesa is that since we have the code selected, we can go ahead and modify the selection with the AI chart by pressing Command L or by pressing Command K to bring the composer. So for the text field, you can for example go ahead and add a border so that it makes the resource field stand out more. Next, we have the buttons UI and the context menu. As I showed you previously, to show the context menu options, you have to use a tap and hold gesture. So if I tap and hold the menu button, that displays the context menu options. However, they don't have any functionality. Next, we have all the calculator buttons. After adding the UI for the buttons, it also created some functions. So over here, you can see it implemented all these functions for the various operations of the calculator. So if I scroll down further in the code, you can see here, we have the various functions, like append number, append decimal, a function to reset calculations, and also another one to perform operations. We have the calculate results function, and also a calculate function that returns the various basic operations. 
The last one is a function that formats the resource. So the UI we generated from this code is not the same as the one in the screenshot. But once you have everything in Xcode, it is now easy to come here and modify all the buttons. For example, if we want to make the rectangular buttons circular, we can easily use Swift UI button shapes and button styles to achieve that. I also noticed that the model used some duplicated modifiers, like the foreground color modifier. But here we can easily change any instance of foreground color to foreground style and remove all the duplicated instances. So this is how you can use the Kesa AI code editor to create a basic and fully functioning SwiftUI calculator for iOS. Thanks for watching this video.